We've been married, it'll be six years in October, and we got married and we're looking forward to the rest of our lives together. And about two and a half years into it, she was diagnosed with the chronic kidney disease, and it was a shock. When I found out I had kidney disease, I was in disbelief. I was scared. Um, why is this happening to me at such a young age? Um, just, I didn't understand. And whenever we found out she was listed for a kidney transplant, we were on the list, just like everybody else. They say, oh, it's you know a three and a half to four year wait in this district. And then they started talking about living donors. My mother was not the right blood type. My father had other illnesses that prevented him from being a donor, although he was the universal donor. So then um, my mother said, well, Rodney, you're, you're O positive. And so we officially got me tested and found out that I was a candidate to be a living donor for her kidney. When we took our vows in October 2008, that it was truly for better or for worse, and sickness and health. Um, meant the world. I mean, that's true love. It doesn't get any closer than that. It wasn't a hard decision at all. I had lived my life. And now Amy is my life. And so it was like, I can live with one kidney, but I couldn't live without her. Inside our wedding rings, it is engraved, it was no accident, which is kind of odd for that to be the engraving in our accident, and then a few years later, get diagnosed with kidney disease, and then be my donor. We decided to check out the Gabriel house. And so, because a social worker at Mayo had told us about it. And so, we came over here and took a tour, and it was like, it's big. There's a lot of room. Everybody was very nice. Um, they were very accommodating, loving. We walked in, and somehow it got out that I was going to be Amy's donor and they started talking about angels. And they kind of said, that's the whole theme of the Gabriel House, is that there's angels in everybody's lives. You meet people and you hear their inspirational stories. We had questions. I mean, here we are four days out of surgery, major surgery, and am I supposed to be feeling this? Is, is this supposed to be what's going on? And you know, you can say, oh, well, we met Bob over here, and, and Bob's just two weeks ahead of us, and so we had people to talk to that could say, oh yeah, I remember that. I was feeling that same way. And it was, it was nice to have that, that their story. It was just a very nurturing group of people. Everybody was going through the same thing at the same time, whether they were weeks before you, years before you, months behind you. It was great to see her getting along with people and talking about things, and they were comparing notes on, you know, oh, I did this today, and I made this milestone in my recovery. The Gabriel House is home because everybody here to me is like family. The volunteers, the people here, although you may meet them for the first time, the, the, the patients, the caregivers, everybody has a story and it brings everybody close together. It's the Gabriel House of Care, but it, it, once you're here, it's, it's home. It's, um, it's our Jacksonville home. <laughs>